So I'm going to attempt to explain how to make a simple latching circuit with a momentary push-button switch um, and an LM555 IC timer chip. This is useful as a power switch when you don't want to use a toggle or uh, just turn different parts of a circuit on and off. Um, there's easier ways to do it, uh, but uh, when you have these components laying around, uh, why not do it this way? We'll go through the uh, construction of the circuit on the breadboard and afterwards I'll try to explain what's happening and we'll take a look at the schematics. The components for this build, of course, are a breadboard, a 9-volt battery, the 9-volt snap connector, uh, the switch, LM555, I used a blue LED, a one microfarad electrolytic capacitor, there's four resistors total, a one kilo ohm, two 10Ks, and one 100K. And then there's just a few jumper wires uh, to make some of the connections. This is a standard single pole, single throw, momentary push button switch. Uh, it's not a toggle switch or anything. Um, and if I get the light just right, you can see there's four pins. These two on this side are always connected together. And these two are connected together. When the switch is thrown and the circuit's closed, two halves are connected together. So we've got the chip and the switch on the breadboard like that. Um, here's pin one down here. That's the ground pin. Pin two is the trigger pin. Pin three is the output pin. Pin four is the reset pin. And we start over here at pin five, control. Six is threshold. Seven is discharge. And eight is the supply voltage or VCC. If we work our way around the uh, LM555 chip, working the pins, the very first pin, pin number one here, goes to ground. Pin two gets connected over to pin six. You can see how that looks. Pin three is the output pin. Um, we'll use the, put the LED there. We'll use a 1K ohm resistor. There's a current limiting resistor for the LED here. And then pin three also gets the 100K ohm resistor that feeds back to the switch so that it can charge the capacitor. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay. Pin four gets jumped back to directly to pin eight. So we use another little jumper here. So that four is directly to eight. And then we can spin the board around. <clears throat> In this case, pin five is not used at all. Pin six, again, is jumped back across to pin two. And off of pin six, we also are gonna run a jumper over to the switch. Pin seven is left uh, empty, it's not used at all. And pin eight, again, is jumped back across to pin four. On pin eight, um, we're going to use a 10K ohm resistor, and this is part of the voltage divider that creates the reference voltage. So a 10K ohm resistor from pin eight to one side of the switch. And then on the other side of the jumper there at the switch, the 10K ohm resistor goes to ground. And that creates the voltage divider. The reference voltage comes down the, the blue jumper there. And also pin eight goes directly to the supply voltage or VCC. So we use this little jumper here to connect to the positive rail. The last thing we need is the one microfarad capacitor. We'll put it in with the uh, anode facing the switch and the cathode to ground. So if we connect a 9 volt battery to it now, the circuit should work. And it does. Push once we're on, once we're off. So let's see if we can understand what's happening here with the, uh, we're running the LM555 IC in bi-stable mode, meaning it will either be on or off. We can supply voltages to trigger that state. And we do that through the two pins, pin number two and pin number six. Pin number two is called a trigger pin. And when it receives a low voltage or less than one third of the supply voltage, it triggers the output to pin three to be on or turns the LED on. Um, when we send a high voltage or more than two thirds the supply voltage to pin six, 
that triggers the LM555 to turn off. So it works like a flip-flop. Turns off the output to pin three. And the basic rule is the trigger has a reference voltage of less than one third of the supply voltage, the output will be on. When the threshold pin, pin six, has a reference voltage more than two thirds of the supply voltage, output will be off. The way we do that is we supply a reference voltage. You can see that in yellow here. So the nine volt, in our case, we use a nine volt battery, comes in through VCC or the common collector voltage through the voltage divider, and the reference voltage would be 4.5 volts to pin two. That is not less than one third the supply voltage of nine volts. So when we power up the LM555, its normal state is off. Okay, if we go and hit the switch, turn the LM555 on, what happens is we open up the connection or the pathway back to the capacitor, this one microfarad capacitor, and it begins to charge and temporarily drops this voltage across pin two down to less than one third the supply voltage. That triggers LM555 to output on, which fires up the LED. At the same time, when the output of pin three, which is the supply voltage comes out, goes back through this 100K ohm resistor and begins to charge the capacitor to the supply voltage. When the switch is released, it stays on and the capacitor is charged now with supply voltage. When we turn the switch off again, when we depress the switch, the capacitor releases its full 9 volt, goes backwards through the pathway into to pin 6, which is the threshold pin. Since it's 9 volts, which is more than two-thirds the supply voltage, it triggers the LM555 to go into off mode, which stops the output.